Cloud Accelerate Factory helps refactoring, rehosting, replatforming, even help uh, uh, deploying Azure OpenAI use cases for customers at zero cost. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm Thomas, and today I'm here with Ravi from Microsoft Azure. Today, we are diving into the Cloud Accelerate Factory and how it helps organizations migrate and modernize their workloads faster with zero cost support and expert guidance from Microsoft. Ravi, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Thomas. Excited to be here. So let's start with the basics. For people who may be hearing about Cloud Accelerate Factory for the first time, what exactly is it and how does it help people and organizations? Uh, good question, Thomas. So let me address that question in two parts, the why and the what. Uh, uh, we have been observing a lot of triggers from the customers where customers are looking to exit data centers, optimize their IT spend, or even overcome uh, end of support services on certain uh, uh, workloads, handling security threats, and importantly, getting their estate AI ready. So for all of these triggers that customers are going through, Cloud Accelerate Factory is the answer. So now the what, what is Cloud Accelerate Factory? It is a benefit under Azure Accelerate in Microsoft, which we call it as one Azure program. Uh, Cloud Accelerate Factory helps refactoring, rehosting, replatforming, even help uh, uh, deploying Azure OpenAI use cases for customers at zero cost. And Microsoft experts will come and help customers to handle all of the project work for them. It is a global program. We handle any size of the projects and with proven best practices. This sounds like such a helpful offering, to be honest. And I like that it's designed to complement what customers and their partners are already doing. So what are the main benefits that people and organizations get when they take advantage of the Cloud Accelerate Factory? We usually present three important benefits through Cloud Accelerate Factory. The first one being zero cost model. Microsoft invested in this delivery engine and we provide uh, migration and modernization assistance to all customers at no cost. And we are currently providing uh, uh, support on, uh, for almost 30 Azure services jointly delivering with the partners. Second important benefit is accelerating the overall project timelines by completing the deployments just under weeks using our proven industry models and especially Microsoft experts, SMEs, working alongside with customer and partner to complete the migrations. Third important benefit is maximizing the investments that customer is currently having from Microsoft. That includes ESIF. We are optimizing the ESIF. And for the same level of investment, adding factory benefit to it, we are bringing more value to every dollar we are investing in customers. This is fantastic, and it's a great value proposition when it comes to these uh, projects and migrations. Uh, faster deployments with Microsoft and your partner doing the heavy lifting. Can you tell us a bit more about how Microsoft and partners work together in this program? Yes. Uh, this, this whole uh, Cloud Accelerate Factory delivery engine is built using a joint delivery model between Microsoft partners. Of course, customers will take active part in it. Uh, usually, when we deliver any projects for the customers in the joint delivery model, uh, factory experts handle all of the rinse and repeat scenarios, refactor, migration, modernization scenarios, right from building the landing zones all the way up to executing migrations. And we'll take partners' uh, help in providing, uh, getting overarching uh, program governance, pre-migration activities and post-migration activities and helping customers on their long-term cloud strategy. Sounds like it's really about combining strength. Microsoft bring the scale and proven frameworks, and the partners bring the deep customer knowledge. Now, Ravi, could you tell us more about the types of projects and workloads the factory can actually help with? Sure. Uh, cloud Accelerate Factory primarily supports uh, uh, refactoring, replatforming, re-architecturing scenarios across the board. Uh, we start supporting uh, uh, from migration of infrastructure and databases. We support modernization of the databases right from SQL all the way to OSSDB NoSQL. And one of the latest and important offer from micro, uh, migration factory perspective is app modernization using agentic AI models. We started using GitHub Copilot to complete uh, app modernization scenarios 
reducing the timeline from months into days. And some of the other specialized workloads that we support are migrating Azure VMware solutions to AVS. Uh, we also started supporting Oracle Exa databases hosting on Azure. Uh, SAP RISE platform validations and go live support are another are important uh, offerings that we are supporting these days. And on the specialized workloads, we support deploying analytics solutions, uh, deploying Azure OpenAI use cases, and across any project that we handle with customers and partners, uh, enabling security and always look for resiliency is given, and we always support that through the factory. This is fantastic, and uh, this is a pretty broad spectrum, uh, what we actually support with Factory. It sounds like wherever you are in your cloud journey, there is a way where Factory can actually help. Um, so can you tell us more about how the program actually works? I know there is a well-defined process behind it, if I want to be part of it. That's correct. We have a very well-defined process uh, from Cloud Accelerate Factory perspective. It is always uh, uh, executes in a, in a sprint model. Typically, each sprint lasts about three to six weeks uh, uh, timeline. Uh, we start with a quick nomination process, getting the nominations from account teams uh, on behalf of customers. We start with assignments, align on the prerequisites, align on the scope of the project, and we coordinate with the micro, uh, uh, Microsoft team working on the ground, customer and partner, and kickstart the overall work. So it's uh, pretty fast and collaborative from day one. That's correct. Uh, usually, we take the overall project in uh, four different phases, starting with the prerequisites, where we validate the existing landing zones, or we deploy brand new landing zones if customers are looking for it. And we start with the quick assessment to identify the scope of the project, scope of uh, uh, workloads that we are either migrating or modernizing, or even uh, Azure AI use cases, identifying the requirements. Then we go through an execution cycle uh, by defining a well-established migration plan approved by the customer. And once the ex execution is complete, we provide the environment back to the customer for a quick validation, testing, and finally securing the sign-off. Fantastic. Uh, that's a very structured approach. And it's nice that customers get this end-to-end -end visibility through the process. Um, OK, let's let's say someone is watching now and thinks, this all sounds great. How do I get started? Uh, engaging with Cloud Accelerate Factory is always simple. Uh, work with your uh, uh, Microsoft account executive, Microsoft account team. Identify your projects, your workloads, what are we planning to migrate or modernize, and Microsoft account team will send in a nomination on behalf of you. Uh, factory will come in, identify the right workloads, identify the overall plan, uh, align the roles and timing, and kickstart the migration sprint working with you, if required, with a partner in a joint delivery model. And together, let's start your cloud journey and start migrating your workloads to Azure. Sounds great, Ravi. So before we wrap up here, what are the next steps people should take if they're ready to get started? Uh, first and foremost thing, I would recommend you to go and check uh, the website on Azure Accelerate, more details about Cloud Accelerate Factory. Uh, we have all the details present over there. Uh, also, you can always reach out to your Microsoft counterpart, Microsoft account team, or even a partner already existing in your ecosystem. Ravi, this has been just a helpful overview of the Cloud Accelerate Factory and how it helps customers move faster, optimize resources, and simplify the path to Azure. Thank you so much for joining us and walking us through all the details today. My pleasure, Thomas. Thanks for having me on the show. So for everyone watching, you can find the links to all the resources we covered today in the episode description below. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and give our show a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on the Azure Essential Show.